Hi, I'm Kathleen Combe. I'm here with this week's Women's Athletic Association Athlete of the Week, Stephanie Anderson. She is a second year um, pre-med and psychology major. Um, Stephanie, you guys finished your season on an incredible 12-game win streak. Congratulations. Um, tell me, so what changed from the beginning half of your season to right about the middle of January? What happened that really turned you guys around? So we definitely have a, had a rough start in the beginning of the season. We started with a losing streak, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I think just coming into conference season, we all just kind of talked to each other and we really just bought in. It was really hard transitioning from last year's team, which was completely different dynamic than mm -hmm. this year's team. And we all just kind of like, you know, enough's enough. We're all just going to buy into the game plan. And our coaches really helped out with that, too. And going into the Wash U game, we, we lost to Wash U the first time. And... We were like, okay, this is the turning point right now. Mm -hmm. We can still make a great season out of this, even though we had a rough start. And I think that really just, like, it just clicked in our minds. And from then, obviously, it's been working out pretty well. Yeah, that's great. Um, so now in her comments about you, Coach Konecki said um, that you and Mor Morgan Donovan really get a lot of credit for your guys' defensive success this year. You are ranked fourth in the UAA in steals. Um what have been the keys to allow you to have so much defensive success this season? Well, with our defense in particular, it really focuses on a lot of ball pressure. And with Morgan and I, we both usually guard the point guards or the guards or the people who have the ball most of the time. So obviously it will like start with us pressuring the ball so much that like it kind of trickles down so that like they can't pass it to the other players and so on and so on. And um, I think at the beginning of the season, I – didn't quite understand how much my team was depending on me to mm -hmm. pressure the ball that much, but around the same like time of January when we had a bunch of team meetings talking about what our game plan was for the rest of the season, my team made it very clear to me that they like really depended on that pressure, mm -hmm. and I think just knowing that really just like clicked in my mind. I'm like, okay, from now on, like if nothing else, I'm just going to do my best and put it all out on our defense, and I think Morgan also had the same mindset as well. Great. It definitely worked out. Yeah. Um, so... You guys had a great senior day against WashU. It's always great to win the last one for your seniors. Um, what are you going to miss the most? What have you, you really learned from these seniors this year? Um, I would say all the seniors this year just really cared about every single one of the underclassmen, myself included. And they really went out of their way to make sure that everyone was comfortable on the team. And they would always offer to, like, do stuff outside of practice with us and like shoot around and help us work mm -hmm. on stuff like that we needed to work on and even when we had like personal problems they were always there to like help mm -hmm. us support us and everything and I think that um, showed on the court as well with just like the team dynamic we just really trusted our seniors and we knew that they would always have our backs on and off the court right that's always great to know <coughs> thanks so much for your time Stephanie the other uh, Women's Athletic Association Athlete of the Week nominees were Michaela Hamill, Allison Pildner, Eleanor King, and Michelle Dobbs from Track and Field, as well as Allison Wall on Swimming and Diving. Good luck to all the Maroon teams competing this weekend.